everybody, welcome to another episode of Rookie Collectibles. I'm Daniel. And I'm Cheryl. And today we've got another designer toy review for Yay. you guys. But before we go on, do remember to hit the subscribe button if you <laughs> like toys, you like Funko Pops, you like um, uh, Bear, Bear Bricks. Who doesn't like yeah. Funko Pops, Bear Bricks and toys? <laughs> yeah. Hit that subscribe button because we've got a huge giveaway coming soon, I think. Yep. Um, so let's see how that goes. But meanwhile, today we're going to talk about <laughs> Acorn by Fufu Fu Fanny and um, this is one that I think we are very excited to yeah. do about because um, this to be honest is the first designer <laughs> toy that I bought. Who would have known right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, so it, it's gonna be really fun to, to pretty much review this one and yeah. not only that, uh, we met Fanny Cow who is the designer mm -hmm. for Fufu Fu Fanny yeah. and the Acorn um, at STGCC 2017 mm -hmm. so that happened earlier this year yeah so we yeah. actually got the toy before yeah. we actually met right. her right so we got that from Mike's store at Ozo Collection if you're in Singapore do yeah. drop by uh, they're in the midst of a shift right now mm -hmm. but um, yeah just, yeah, just check so out we... their Facebook page and we'll all be good yeah, right. um, moving on I think yeah this, <laughs> we have a lot to talk about actually yeah. so we have Acorn we have um, Acorn Junior Mini which is like really <laughs> tiny there's one in the center um, um, in terms of size it's mm. called Acorn Junior. Yeah, so um, we have Acorn, yeah. Acorn I'm gonna Junior put a picture there somewhere. Acorn Junior Mini. They look right. adorable together. Exactly, yeah. they look so awesome. <laughs> um, and of course, based on the Acorn series itself as well, mm -hmm. there's also Chompy, which kind of looks like Acorn, but his mouth is open. <laughs> a, a lot more greedier yeah. version of Acorn. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, um, yeah, but that's not it. Uh, so we have this to talk about today. Yeah. Um, I also bought an enamel pin that's so, off the same color yeah. uh, as the toy that I have. I, I like I this. This is my daily driver <laughs> in a way now. It's been pinned on my bag and I've not taken it off since. And it's since. very lasting as yeah. well. Uh, we also have a couple of stickers. But mm -hmm. yeah, everybody loves stickers. Yeah. And not only that, at STGC, we also managed to get um, sort of like a commissioned work yeah. from uh, um, Fanny, and then this is really Acon awesome. As well. Yeah, it's also Acorn, and it now sits like you know on the wall. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. But to talk more about Acorn, that's enough for a very long intro. Let's go to hand cam. Let's go. And we're in hand cam. This is Acorn. Close up. <laughs> let's check it out. I've got Acorn Junior Mini here as well. Yeah. And, let's um, talk about the packaging. Oh, let's first. do that. Let's do that. So the packaging, I think, for um, Fanny, she she kind of makes it very her. Yeah. Like in a way where you know, there's always. Uh, um, I mean, this is very. Um, 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 designer toy style mm -hmm. with the you know the 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 tap the card tap, right? uh, yeah and then it's like plastic but then you know this kind of words that you see both yeah. on Acorn Junior I and I really and, like the words yeah. here as well like the font is really cute I'm not and very just, sure whether it's like yeah. hand drawn it looks hand drawn yeah it right? does right and just a quick preview uh, we have a lo uh, lonely liners over mm -hmm. here check out the, the packaging as well. But that review for another time. Yeah. Um, but let's start. Let's 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 kind of open up and let's just look mm -hmm. at the packaging. And that's the signature oh, yeah. at the back. At the back. Signature the same yeah. one over there. And let's get into it. Yay! And I'm gonna open like uh, Acorn Junior <laughs> Mini here as well. Um, oh, so one thing pretty cool is that <laughs> in the that. yeah, look at that yeah. in the packaging, on the inserts there are actually a design. Um, that this is probably drawn by her. Yeah, it's drawn by and, her. And yeah, look at that. This is so nice. That means, um, you know, if you know, most of the time, um, you know, these packaging, this these card taps get mm -hmm. discarded and stuff. But yeah. you can actually reuse this. I mean, less for the yeah. hole in, in Akon's head. But mm -hmm. <laughs> you can yeah. actually do that. I think it's a really yeah. nice thought that, like, most people just have it on one side, but you have both things. Like, Correct. you can yeah. flip over and see the artist uh, drawing in 2D as well. So I think it's really nice thought. That, she that is definitely pretty cool. Uh, yep. Let's check out uh, Acorn right now. So here's a little bit more background on the toy. Mm -hmm. I have Acorn Junior Mini over here. Acorn, uh, Acorn here. was the first toy that um, Fanny actually embarked on, mm -hmm. um, and and she's she told us that she always liked hedgehogs. <laughs> So she researched and she started doing it and she started with epoxy resin casts for Acorn. So I'm pretty sure this is a resin cast for Yeah, it actually for, for feels kind of heavy as well. It is. It's not light. That's kind of like the difference in a way. Yeah, I do um, like the texture of it as well. It's yeah. like not completely smooth. There's some kind of like a matte finish. Right. Uh, we, we do also note that um, Fufu Fanny toys are all very cute. Yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah. she tries to uh, accentuate certain mm -hmm. um, um, points on this. Uh, and one thing that she actually notes that you know she did with this is probably the nose and the feet yeah, actually. So, so if you take a look at the feet, um, there are different um, levels of care that she put into. Yeah, you can yeah, see the, the handmade goodness in that. Yeah. 
So check that out. Um, so yeah. I think one thing that's really cool about Acon that um, caught my attention. I mean, mm -hmm. one first things first, it looks well, cute, of course. Well. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, first things first, it looks cute, and of course the colorway. Um, it was the combination of both that had me. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll I'll buy this. <laughs> I'll, I'll just try buying that, and then I realized, hey, uh, when you start to figure out more about the toy and and and, and search more about the designer, and then you start to figure out more about yeah, the toy industry really from there that's what appreciate yeah. her works as well like her yeah. other drawings her other designs like the amount of care that is put behind an original original design yep. and the thought behind it I think it's quite nice yeah so this is pretty cool mm -hmm. um, there is also of course Akon Jr which is different and chompy with an open mouth she does a collaboration with her boyfriend mm -hmm. Daniel Yu who is also a toy maker yeah. that features both chompy and Akon on the head of one of his products uh, and it's called the chompy explorer yeah, and the Acorn Explorer. We'll put a picture yeah, of that sure. like somewhere here as well. <laughs> yeah, um, interestingly enough, the Acorn Explorer is sold out and the Chompy Explorer is still on sale. So if you want that, um, we'll put the links in the description yeah, below. It's quite interesting how both Daniel Yu and Penny have like totally right. different designs, but they kind of like gel really, really well together in the Explorer version of the toy. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Uh, looking forward to more uh, um, collaborations between the couple. That's yeah. going to be so awesome. They actually just collaborated on a Linus. But mm. again, we'll talk about that in another episode. Um, but a quick um, um, backstory about Fanny. Um, mm -hmm. You know, from the interview that we talked to her about. Yeah, it was quite funny um, because yeah. we struggled a little bit with the interview because she speaks a lot of Chinese. Yeah. Our Chinese isn't very good. But exactly. she's such a fun character, such a bubbly person. So it was really fun talking to her as well. Right. Um, so she started doing small acorns and then um, 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 so that's how she got started but mm. before that she was actually doing toys with her brother. Her brother was um, doing a, a toy called Banana Virus. I mm -hmm. think we have not researched that. Yeah, so we probably caught by yeah. a picture. So like, she decided, yeah. So she decided to quit and help her brother mm -hmm. um, and then she started learning toy making from there and then after which she worked at Instinct Toy for two years. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, and then she she used the knowledge. knowledge and experience from making toys from her brother and the selling of the toys from Instinct Toys yeah. and now she came up with this brand yeah, and I, I, I think, think that's pretty cool. It's really amazing. So one thing that really like stood out when she spoke to me was about connecting the dots. Yep. So it's about how like her entire journey from her humble beginnings just helping out her brother design a toy to like like what she learned at Instinct Toy I think really gelled really well together and it's quite nice how it came out to a final product that's the Acorn! That's the Acorn! Um, so yeah, that's pretty awesome and I think we are... Uh, let's take a closer look once more. Um, I, like I just the, love yeah. the nose so yeah, much. The nose it's so is such like, a... pinchable. <laughs> and you can tell as well that the the, the it's all hand-painted. Yeah. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I like I like the, the ridges, ridges yeah, of the hedgehog and yeah. of course the colour which is what drew me to this. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are tons of colourways which we'll talk to... Uh, which we will talk about in a bit. So let's go to that. And we're back! Um, now we're gonna talk about more of the like the different colorways that yeah. she has done. She actually did a limited edition run of the small um, junior minis um, called Ebi Furai. We'll put a picture <laughs> yeah, somewhere. It's really cute. Yeah, so it's like a it's like a what's like a chopsticks uh -huh. and then there are two white um, um, acorns on it. On, that on looks like pretty this cute. Plate, yeah, yeah. You actually rest sushi. I can, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that that's pretty cute. I think that that's rather yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's really like yeah. tiny as well. Like two chopsticks and a tiny little exactly. Little picture here. Yeah, and and not only that, um, she also did a um, um a different colorway mm -hmm. for different conventions that we had. Um, yeah, I think STGCC really had a pretty mm -hmm. badass one. Well, yeah. hand painted again. Uh, we didn't manage to get that in time. Yeah. Um, probably the next STGCC. Yeah, Hopefully. So Fanny will come back as well. Yeah, I wish so uh, and of course, you know, for other conventions, conventions as well. well. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so one thing that I really like about her colors as well, she really uses a lot of different colors to come out with kind of like a pastel rainbowish kind oh, right, of color. Yeah. yeah. We really want to get one of those the next time. We'll keep in mind to always yeah. like, get those first. Correct. Like to be honest, um, they are priced a little bit much higher than the regular items right. as well. But you can see why because when you look at her Instagram as well, you yeah. look at thought process, look at the amount of effort that goes behind painting these items. They're really one of a kind. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and not only that, you see the extension of the products again. Um, um, no, like no, from works, this, right? and it moves on to like you know even enamel pins mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Let's go on to talking about um, the toy that it is not available anymore. Ah. Uh, I think it's not available on her store anymore. But if you are from Singapore, mm -hmm. um, I think they still have a little bit of stock left at Ozo Collection. Yeah. Um, In so the again, best colors as well, so you might yeah. have to see a lot on whether you get the color that Correct. you want. Yeah, so do check out the description below mm -hmm. for those links if you like. Yeah. But fret not, because 
She just released a new Akon. Yay. She has released Akon and Nati, which is a which is a new vinyl version. Yeah. And it looks very much more like that. Exactly. Yeah. And um, of course, <laughs> oh, you're trying to get it yeah, out. Right? <laughs> yeah. So it looks very much more like that, mm -hmm. and it also comes with a nut. Yeah. Uh, it's called uh, nutty. <laughs> yeah. I, it, no, it, I think it comes with an acorn. Acorn. Yeah. It's an acorn, acorn. And the acorn is kind of like his best friend. Yeah. So they are best friends. <laughs> yeah. So and cute. you know this this. Cat Picture thing here is actually removable from the vinyl. You can actually put it on Akon's head. Uh, Akon's head as well probably looks uh, um, articulative. Yeah. I so we're not sure yet. Side, we do not have the toy mm -hmm. yet, but um, hopefully we can get it someday. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> so but, I think yeah. so far it only is released in one color. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so I think it's a basic color for mm -hmm. now, but I'm looking forward to what next year is gonna bring for yeah. Fanny and Fufu Fanny as well. And we're gonna see what the different conventions and the colorways would come. Who knows? Hopefully we get a rookie collectibles colorway. Oh, Maybe someday. But yeah, I think all in all, it's a very fun toy. It's really cute and definitely one to be awesome to have on your yeah. desk. And what, uh, yeah, and she also does like other animals as well. They really look nice to play together. Yeah, Roy and Mike's, uh, exactly. Yeah. Well. So do check those out. Mm -hmm. um, we will definitely have more reviews from Fufu Fanny yeah. product line coming soon. You did have a sneak peek uh, at yeah. Linus over there. Yeah, so, so we're gonna do that soon. Mm -hmm. um, of course, and, and of course the other animals in the range as well. Yeah. You know, trying to provide you with more of the background backstory mm -hmm. of stuff. And um, yeah, final thoughts about Acorn. Uh, I really, really like the like pris prismic kind of like rainbow prismic. colorway. So <laughs> yeah, then got this because she really likes this color. Yeah, I'm I really like gunning it. for her hand painted ones that yeah. is. So beautiful. Like right. check out Instagram. Just look at the yeah. colors that she Again, has. Again, we'll leave all the yeah. links below to the website, to Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to check out, um, again, there's a very very nice write up by the Mighty Jacks mm -hmm. guys. Uh, on, 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 yeah, well. on both Daniel Yu and Fufu <laughs> the whole story behind that. So if you yeah. want to check that out, it's all in the description below. And um, yeah, yeah, I think my final thoughts are I'm so happy to have bought this because <laughs> um, this was the the, the toy first. that sparked off the whole interest in moving into designer toy collecting mm -hmm. and trying to bridge the gap between um, mainstream or, or rather you know Funko collectors and, 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 and mainstream toy collectors and the designer toy world yeah. um, because both we feel have shared so much interest mm -hmm. and it all starts with <laughs> this dude over here and really so, yeah. like getting to know the toy yeah. getting to know the artist that really makes a difference exactly mm -hmm. so that is that for today's episode we hope you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section below what you think yeah. about a color we would very much that love you to know get? that yeah. like, exactly. is this something you would get if it was in a different colorway yeah Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, mm -hmm. and of course um, follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well <laughs> because we have those and yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, that will be very much awesome. We love you guys and we mm -hmm. will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.